y'all so today I'm gonna show you guys how to get some big-ass lips without having to buy fillers and maybe if you do want to buy fillers I'm gonna show you how to get some big-ass lips so you can see what your lips look like before you spend the money on the fillers and then you get the fillers and you're like oh my god I fucking hate this I have a product for you girl I have a product for you but before we get into it if you are new to my channel and you're not subscribed to my channel you totes should just saying we have lots of fun here just saying but if you are new, um, I am like 100% transparent with my subscribers. I see no reason to fucking lie. Like, I think it's really stupid when people like do not disclose sponsorships or affiliates or anything like that. Um, I tell my subscribers everything, whether it's an email from a company or people sending me stuff or affiliations or whatever the dealio, all the way down to like how much um, commission I get from affiliations. So, like I said, if you're not subscribed, you don't should. But I just wanted to throw that out there um, because this I actually received through Octoly. Octoly is a website that creators go on to and kind of link up with brands and brands send them stuff for free for review. They did not pay me. So today's review is going to be on Candy Lips. Candy Lips sent this to me for free. They did not pay me. This is not sponsored. They just sent it to me. And on Octoly, you're actually contractually obligated to give an honest review. So that's why I really like Octoly. Um, if you are a creator and you wanna sign up, I will leave a link below. I believe I get like 20 Octo points is what they're called, which I think converts to $20 to like buy stuff with, I think. If that's not how it is, I'll put down below what it is because y'all know I'm not good at the YouTubes. Um, but if that's not the deal, then I'll put below what is the deal. So anyways, let's get into this review, bish. So this is Candy Lips. If you do not know what this is, this is actually a lip plumper. So this little device right here is essentially like the fucking Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Don't act like you didn't put a shot glass on your face when that shit was going around. Cause I may or may not have, just saying. So basically what this is, is a little device that you stick on your face and you squeeze it and it sucks your lips through there and it like expands your lips. And girl, it is crazy, crazy, like how big you can get your lips. So the kit that Candy Lips sent me was this is actually um, marketed as the small to medium size lip kit. So basically what this does, it just gets your lips to a little bit more enhanced, which I honestly couldn't even imagine them getting bigger than what I have gotten them with this. So this is also called the double lobe kit. And basically what that means is, you know how Angelina Jolie has like that little, you know, that thing, like that little divot in her lips. That is essentially what this is supposed to do. That's why there's like a little thing here because your lip kind of goes, where's it at? Your lip kind of goes through both sides, but I will be straight up with you guys. I do not like this. I do not like this to the point that I actually cut the little double lobe thing out or whatever you want to call it out of the little maintenance one. So what this is, let me tell you what's in the kit. So the kit includes this big apple, this little apple, and the little apple is called the maintenance or the touch up on the go one. And basically, I guess you're just supposed to throw this in your purse and like touch up while you're out because this does, like once you get your lips to whatever size you want, it does only last for two to four hours. So there's that. So you get these two things and I'll go in more into this in a minute. You get two little jellies and what the jellies do is they fit over top of the thing to reduce cupping. Um, and then you get two blockers. And what the blocker is, is it fits in here like a show, if I can get it in there. Get in there, get in there. Fits in there like so. So if you just want fullness in your bottom lip or you just want fullness in your top lip, that is what the blocker is used for because it blocks one of your lips off from being sucked into the thing. And I'll be real honest, like a lot of the times I used this uh, little blocker and I just did one lip at a time because I just really did not like this thing. It hurt. It does hurt, girl. Like when your lips are being sucked through, it kind of stings a little bit. Like I watched a couple of videos of people reviewing this and they're like, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, girl. Yeah, it does fucking hurt me. So that is what is included in the kit. The price of the kit is $79.99, which I know seems like a lot of money, but in hindsight, it's actually not. Cause if you run out and spend $600 on fillers and you end up not liking them, then you're gonna have to pay 
not only that $600, but more money to get them dissolved, or you're gonna have to walk around like being super self-conscious because you don't like the filler in your lips and you don't wanna pay to get them dissolved. You know what I'm saying? So $70, I think, is a pretty decent price because I will tell you guys, these are very well made. Like the plastic on the outside, this rubbery plastic is very thick, even to the point where it's kind of hard to like push it to get it to squeeze your lips in there and that may be like on purpose you know what i'm saying so you don't like blow your fucking lips up or something so that might be on purpose but it's just it's really well made and it comes with like super bomb ass packaging so you get it in this cute little box and you can store it in the box so if you don't want like the whole entire kit um you can just get the single one and bt dubs the single lobe is what it's called where it just looks like this it's like a big apple and it just looks like this is red. It looks just like this, but it's a red apple. Um, and then they have ones that are like medium to large, which, oh my God, they kind of look like a barrel or something. And you like squeeze them. Ooh, you know what? I bet that's why that one, because I watched a review on that one and it does look easier to squeeze. I bet that's why that one is like the medium to large one. But anyways, so if you just want the apple alone and you don't want to spend the $79.99, you can get this for $49.99, which I know kind of seems like still kind of a lot. But to be honest with you guys, I feel like you could just get the little one. And if you get the little one, it's only $34.99. So 35 bucks is still a lot, but it's better than 70 and it's better than 50. So that's what's up. Um, I don't really see a difference between the two of these the only real noticeable difference is this mouth size is just a little bit bigger like this can fit on top of this you know what i mean like i mean it's just a hair bigger that's the only difference that i see and then maybe i don't know maybe because you can't squeeze this one as much like there's not enough as there's not as much room to squeeze as there is on this one i don't know but to me, I think, I mean, this would do the trick. A fucking shot glass would do the trick, as we've seen from the interwebs. But this is a little bit safer way of doing it. So let's just get to this, bitch. Let's do this. Let's blow my lips up. Here we go. Kylie Jenner, watch out. No, just kidding. Okay. So basically what you do is you squeeze this little thing, you stick your lips on it, and the way you stick your lips, it has like a little lip in there, if you guys can see that. It's got a little lip in there. So this one with the little cover like on here, so this one with the little cover, where is it, right there. That little cover, that's your top lip, and then this one is your bottom lip. So if you guys do happen to buy um, the single lobe one, then it's gonna look like this, and the cover is where your top lip goes, and basically all you do is you squeeze it, let it suck your lips in, and then you leave it like that for two minutes, and then you pull it off, and your lips are massive. Massive girl, just wait and see. So I will give you guys a little tip straight away. Um, what I've learned to do with this, because I'll tell you right now, it does leave cupping marks, it does leave bruises. For me personally, it leaves a cupping mark on the top of my lip right here, pretty bad, and a cupping mark on the bottom of my lip right here, pretty bad, and then um, it turns my lips purple. Not right away, but it turns my lips purple probably about an hour afterwards. Once they start to go down, they turn purple. So just an FYI, just to let you guys know, if you have somewhere to go or something like that, you might wanna do this beforehand just to see what your lips are going to do the cupping marks can be you know covered up with makeup or whatever so it's not that big of a deal um oh also the reason why i wanted to try this too is because as you guys know i have the lips of a 90 year old woman my lips have a ton of lines in them because i was a smoker for like 10 or 12 years i know fucking gross but i have like a lot of lines in my lips and they claim that over time it's supposed to like help subside the lines in your lips and i'm telling you guys i've been using this for 21 days today is the 21st day that i've had this and i really feel like it makes a difference like i feel like my top lip is like a little bit bigger especially when i wake up in the morning because when i wake up in the morning my face kind of swelled up and you know what i'm saying so i kind of feel like my top lip is a little bit bigger and my bottom lip like isn't as liney it's crazy that is like one of the main reasons i don't like liquid lipsticks because they just look like shit on me because I, I feel like my lips look like shriveled up prune. Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up and we're gonna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and like play some music and speed it up and whatever else. Um, because this leaves a uh, cupping mark, you might see me kind of pull on it a little. And the reason why I'm pulling on it is because 
I don't want the rim of it right here going clear up here. So I, this just a little tip in case you do decide to get it. What I do is I will kind of pull on it a little bit to make the rim like right at the tip of my lips. So pro tip for y'all, just, just in case you wanted it. So here we go. Let's do this bish. Oh yeah, by the way, you're not allowed to have any balm or anything like that on your lips. You want to be able to get the best suction possible. So you want to like exfoliate your lips, make sure they're dried off, make sure there's no like oils or balms or anything like that on them. So here we go. You guys are gonna die. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play some music and speed it up. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it for two minutes. Okay, let me actually, let me get my timer out. It's, it's like, don't try not to drool, bitch. You can't drool. Look, you guys. Are you dying? Let me zoom in. Look! Could you die? And that was two minutes. Like, you can go even longer. Are you dying right now? I'm fucking dying. I'm like kind of living for it. Just saying. I'm going to do two more minutes. Um, I'm going to do the big one this time so you guys can see. No, I'm not, because that thing hurts my lip. So I'm going to do it for two more minutes. I don't know if you guys can see. The cupping marks haven't started yet, but they will. Um, I can't remember if they start like afterwards or before, but I'm going to go ahead and go for two more minutes. Give me just a sec to like clean this off because it's all fucked up. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, got it all cleaned off. Got my drool out of it. It's like impossible not to drool in. So here we go. Two more minutes. I don't want to try my drool. Oh my god! Look. Are you fucking dying? <laughs> oh my god. Hello? Girl, let me put, pick my foundation. Oh my god. I die every time I do it. I die, I die, I die. Holy fuck, look. Let me close up. Hold on. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Like, it feels really weird to talk to. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it feels weird. You know how when you go to the dentist and you feel like your mouth is like this big? That's what it feels like. It's really hard to talk. So this is basically what it does. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little scared to go any bigger. We're not even going to try it. Just saying. Oh my god, look. I feel like I look like Trinity Taylor. <laughs> look how big. This is crazy. It like completely took away my Cupid's bow. That was one thing that Tim said. I can't even fucking talk. <laughs> that was one thing that Tim said. He's like, it totally takes away your Cupid's bow. And I like your Cupid's bow. Okay. All right, bitch. Let me zoom back out. We're going to put some lipstick on this shit and see what it looks like. My God. Do you die? Do you die? Okay. Let's do, so the reason why I do not like my lips is because I cannot wear liquid to matte lipsticks. So this is the test, here we go. This is ColourPop Tansy BT Dubs. Let's do this. Oh my God. I can't even take myself serious. What the fuck? I have like no lip line anymore. What the hell? So if I get fillers, I'd have no lip line. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I'm like not mad at the way that liquid lipsticks look on my lips, but 
girl <laughs> it's a little too big for your girl a <laughs> little bit too big a little bit too big let's put gloss on i can't even fucking talk i'm like <laughs> let's put gloss on top bt dubs obviously you don't have to go this big okay okay um where's my lip gloss where's my lip oh here it is let's put some gloss on the top and make them look even bigger <laughs> like we need to do that right you guys i cannot even take myself seriously right now thank god they go down again you don't have to do it this big obviously here you know what let's take the liquid lipstick off and then just put a gloss on hold on all right got some gloss on oh my god you guys i am dying as i said this <laughs> i can't even like fucking look at myself right now as i said this does usually leave cupping marks on me um i also want to throw in there that um after it seems like after a while like of using it consistently it takes longer to get your lips big you know what i mean so when i first tried it i almost got to this point in 30 seconds and now 20 days later after doing it i didn't do it every single day i missed like a day here or there you know what i'm saying um but doing it consistently over a long period of time it does seem to take longer so as i said i almost got to this point in 30 seconds the first time i used it and this time i had to do four whole minutes to get to this size so i normally don't go to this size i go about half of this but i do feel like it's making a difference as far as like the cupping marks go um i do notice that over time they're not as dark like before when I would do it, I would have cupping marks like right away. And now see, like you can see a little bit of one right here, but it's not as dark as what it usually is. So there's that. So I told you work, bitch. I told you, you want to know how to get Kylie Jenner lips? You get them right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I look like Kylie? Do I look like I bought filler from Taiwan and injected it myself? Mm -hmm, maybe just a little bit, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, that is what's up. That is it for this review. Holy fuck tard. I cannot even look at myself in the mirror right now. Like half of me is kind of living for it and the other half is like, oh my god, I hope this goes away. You know what I mean? But anyways, definitely suggest trying it for yourselves. So you can totally get away. <gasps> totally get away. <gasps> that is so disgusting. Did you? Just see what happened. My fucking drool just came out of this. It's so gross. I'm not cutting that out either, bitch. I'm not cutting that out because that was hilarious. Anyways, we're going to do this. So you could totally get away with just doing the little one. Just buying the little one. You should get the red one though, unless you want like, see the double lobe like makes your bottom lip look like this, but it hurts and it doesn't go on there right. So that's why I like this one where I've cut it out of there. It's crazy, especially people like I already have full lips. And if you're somebody that has thinner lips, I would definitely suggest trying it out. Maybe if your lips are on the fuller side, you know, maybe just taking it easy at first. Don't go too ham with it. But if you have thinner lips, I definitely think that this could like totally do something for you. That is what's up. That's it for this review. Obviously, I love it. Hopefully, it takes the lines completely out of my lips over time. That would be fucking amazing. Do you guys want me to come back after like two months or something like that and update you um, as to like what my lips are looking like? If so, leave it in the comments. And if you do want to see that and you are not subscribed, you should totes subscribe just to see. Know what I'm saying? Just to see. Just to see if over time it works. Oh my God. Like, I can't stop staring at myself. They've gone down just a hair, so it's kind of, it's kind of fitting. I'm kind of living for it right now. I hope I, maybe I'm kind of getting used to it. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm gonna go. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Are you guys gonna fucking get one? Are you gonna try it? Let a bitch know in the comments. Uh, and that's what's up. That's it for this video. So think it's so hard to talk right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on my social media, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Ooh.